it's been worthwhile. Leaders of the black community invited the immigration minister to a small community centre in Southampton, a modest venue but a very important meeting. The immigration minister and a team of Home Office officials are speaking to about 30 people concerned about their immigration status. We've been asked not to film inside. People whose right to be in this country is being questioned are naturally concerned about being identified. It really mattered to me when Don John reached out and contacted me and said, there is a significant Caribbean community in Southampton who need your help, Minister. I think what matters is that we give people the opportunity to talk to Home Office officials, whether it's via the hotline or in person like today. But we reach out, we take those steps. I am absolutely prepared to do what it takes to put this right. I mean, there are many sort of uh, difficulties uh, in going through this process. The whole business about the hostile environment makes them very distrustful of government and uh, local authorities. People are embarrassed about this sort of situation and they are not really going to be open about it. We didn't just turn up in England. <laughs> we were invited to. And when I came here in 1970, a young person just graduated from school. They were recruiting nurses because England was in dire straits for nurses to man the hospitals. Home Office officials promised members of the so-called Windrush generation here today that they were safe, not at risk of arrest. They said those without passports simply needed to establish a residential footprint, paperwork like council tax bills and wage slips to prove their right to stay. Kerry Swain, ITV News, Southampton.